coming before God with a righteousness consciousness versus a sin consciousness. It's, it's like in your one devotional, wild, confident, abandoned. When your daughter walks into your office and she's like, I'm here, isn't it wonderful? See, that is a righteousness consciousness. You're seeing that the father wants to spend time with you, that he longs to spend time, that he thinks you're wonderful and incredible instead of crawling on the floor like, an, like I'm not worthy. And I can't see a thriving prayer life in that sin consciousness state. No, it, it is impossible to pray with power if you feel disqualified. And most people do. They come to God filled with disqualifying thoughts. Mm -hmm. I haven't been good enough. I haven't done enough. I haven't, uh, I've yelled at my kids, whatever it is. And when you're coming to God with those, that sense of disqualification, well, then your side of that equation of the yes and amen, you know, mm -hmm. there's a popular song out that now that says all the promises of God are yes and amen. That's not exactly what that scripture says. It's a great song. I love it, by the way. I'm not knocking it. But that scripture says, in Christ, all God's promises are yes. And through Christ, we give the amen. Mm -hmm. That's describing that partnership that I'm talking about, where God says, this is the outcome I want. You hold, you healed, you're healthy. The people that around you, the people that you love doing well. And in Christ, God looks at Christ and says, okay, because of him, I'm a yes on all those promises. And then we come in Christ and give the amen. It's like completing a circuit that allows power to flow. And that righteousness consciousness, rooting your identity in what Jesus has done for you, this devotion is designed, actually, to renew your mind to those realities and at the same time, take you by the hand and train you and lead you and model for you what that declaratory word-based praying mm -hmm. looks like mm -hmm. and sounds like. 